it's the only game in town. You know, behold a new dawn. Kids wear these rings and have no idea in the world what that means. Uh, and how much more time do we have on the, on the film? Good. The, a recurrent mythic model for revolutionaries, early romantics, and young Karl Marx and the Russians of Lenin's time was Prometheus, who stole fire from the gods for the use of mankind. I'll read it again. A recurrent mythic model for revolutionaries, a model for revolutionaries, and early romantics, young Karl Marx, and the Russians of Lenin's time was Prometheus, who stole fire from the gods for the use of mankind. Prometheus. Here in New York at Rockefeller Center, we have the Prometheus Fountain. It's a Masonic Square Freemasonry. And in front of Rockefeller Center is Prometheus on the Promethean Fountain. Who stole fire from God. And that's why during the Olympics you have the, uh, they're running around with the torch. That's the torch of Prometheus. Like the Statue of Liberty holds the torch of Prometheus. It's a symbol for the Age of Enlightenment or the Illuminati, the Illuminated Ones, holders of the light. Well, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to, this is the end of it right here. Uh, the United Nations, I was saying today, uh, to one of you today that the, uh, uh, the post office, uh, I mean, the, the, our postal service used to have on our post boxes on the street or red, white, and blue. Today they're just simply blue. They're just simply blue. Because blue is a symbol for Israel. It's the, it's the symbol, it's the national color of Israel, which is incidentally the same national color for, I mean the international color for the United Nations. This color blue. This particular shade of blue has since become known as UN blue. This is UN blue comes from the old Grand Lodge of Freemasonry, the Grand Lodge, blue. That's why they're called blue degree of Freemasonry. The blue, the first three degrees of Freemasonry is called the blue degrees. That's why the United Nations is blue. Yeah, that's why when you go to college, you get a degree. Because that's the way you move in Freemasonry is by degrees. The 33rd degree, the 32nd degree, the third degree. You go to college and get a degree because these people will teach you what you're supposed to know, not what you're not supposed to know. You're not supposed to think like this. They teach you what you're supposed to know. They teach you how to earn a living, not how to live. They teach you how to think, not to think, but how to think. And so um, that's why uh, when you come out of college, they call you an alumni because you're an alumni. You are illuminated. You've been enlightened by the powers that be. As long as you stay square and play on the square, you're going to do all right as long as you don't go thinking too much, is the end of the first section.